babies it's that time again oh yeah we are in Revelation 7 and it's one of the more positive ones because there's not a lot of devastation in it and you know me I don't get along well with devastation especially when it's supposed to come from the hand of God I understand there needs to be a judgment against the forces of evil I just don't know how responsible human beings are for the forces of evil so there's that. Uh, but yeah. Um, I mean, it's, it's certainly evil what is going on between Israel and Hamas right now. But uh, as far as Revelation 7 goes... There's the mention in there of the 144,000 related to the 12 tribes. So I guess 12,000 per tribe. And they're listed there. Whatever that means. I have no idea. Somebody help me out with that. Because <laughs> if you're rejecting Jesus, I don't know how interested God is in tribes. That's my take. And then there's this other group, countless numbers of people whose robes are white because they've been washed in the blood of the lamb. Oh yeah, baby. Gotta love that. <laughs> oh yeah. Gotta love that. And again, there's falling on faces. Remember, we recently, uh, I think it was in 1 Corinthians 14, we were reading about falling on our faces. And I was saying how that should be a all-day posture. I'm not waiting for something to happen because something has happened and it's always happening, which is us benefiting from the generosity of God. Yeah. So there's the falling on the faces again and the worship and saying that God is forever worthy of honor, power, might. Salvation is his glory. Uh, I can't remember some of the other... Phrases there, but yes, of course. And then it says in there how, in the midst of the throne is the Lamb who protects those who are His to never be in any pain or pressure or heat of the sun. will lead us to living waters. Oh yeah, baby. So, given that Paul says we are already seated with him, <clears throat> I would say some of this <clears throat> we can be experiencing now and <clears throat> I don't know about you but I experienced that and can I clear my th throat <clears> throat> um, I experienced that in just the protection of the Lord 
being a constant source of refreshing to me. Um, yeah, baby. There it is. That's Revelation 7. I started listening to someone's analysis of the <clears throat> of the uh, the Israeli Hamas war and uh, it wasn't really useful it was just talking about uh, ground war and how much of that is an actual reality? Israel obliterating the Gaza Strip from airstrikes. And it just kind of reminds me when I come across stuff like that, it reminds me how our place of authority in Christ now needs to be balanced with these kinds of global atrocities and childlike joy and as we walk in the spirit we'll discover when to be silly and when to be serious. Right now I'm just kind of feeling the heaviness of the <clears throat> of that conflict as well as many others throughout the earth. Wanting to be in a position where my life of obedience and submission to the spirit is used as a source of energy for those to seize opportunities for faith and protection in Jesus. And that as horrible as the atrocities are that people have to endure there's always an opportunity to use it for growing in strength, growing in faith, growing in submission to the will of God so that the fullness of Jesus is uh, received in the world. And that's my thought, baby. And so we submit ourselves to you, Lord, to be used of you in this hour for the benefit of others so that no matter what we encounter today, we stay sober in the fact that we are vessels for your filling, being moved by your mind and your heart and your spirit that we live lives in a way that bring release to those who are captive whether that's mentally physically spiritually emotionally and those who are subject to untold levels of violence that have nothing to do with their own choices. And also we remember those who do choose ignorance and do not access the knowledge of you. Yeah, baby.
Thank you for your faithfulness to receive us in this prayer.